What a way to start. Anyway, uh, here we go with another match. He's got PZ, and I'm thinking, well, I could probably survive one Ice Beam. Um, Malk is a little kind of funky player sometimes, so I was slightly afraid to bring Bliss in right off the bat, because I was like, he's probably going to be like one of those adaptability... Uh, he's obviously adaptability. I didn't see download. Maybe like with the Life Orb return, as that can two-it KO, I think. And well, what I just I, I figured out I can live one Ice Beam. I don't want to know what what the heck the thing's going to do. I'm kind of scared of it at the moment. So I put up a T-Spikes, and I figured, well, I got one free one up. I am Scarfed now, so I may as well get the other one up and hope that he doesn't have a poison slash that can't be spun away. So I'll just get it up, then I'll go to Bliss as a... Uh, I mean, that's really all I can do anyway, despite the fact that that's not what I want to do. So, whatever. He runs away and goes to a Drift Bomb. I'm like, crap! I was kind of hoping a fighting type would come in so I could counter it, but it didn't, so... I go back to Koopa because I figure he's going to want to baton pass something. So I'm going to use my nice scarf taunt that I got and be like, nope, no pass for you. So this makes me want to go to a Melodic so I can Ice Beam away his sub, put a Confuse Ray on him, and then fine, he can baton pass if he got Confuse on it all day long. I don't care at that point. So I go over to Leviathan, he T-bolts me, and I'm just like, uh, well that sucked. So I decide to go back to Koopasaur so that I can put up Stealth Rock and then, you know, keep switching around and seeing how I can get to make this work. So I go back to Koopa, he T-bolts me, but Taunt wears off. So I'm like, well, crap. I guess now I have to make Taunt go back on, and then I'll go to Bliss, and then I'll come back here, and we'll see what happens from then, or from there. So that's exactly what I do. I taunt him again. He's just going to hang out there until he can't. It's really his... Uh, perspective on things. So, in comes T-Bolt, no big deal. I uh, go right back out to Koopa so I can put up some Stealth Rock, and that's exactly what I do. I believe Taunt wears off now, though. Yeah, Taunt wears off now. I'm like, crap, I couldn't get one more turn. So I go out to Leviathan again, as uh, even though he does have T-Bolt for weakness, he didn't really hurt me that bad, so that's alright. And uh, he doesn't stick around anymore. Um, I think I might even... Do I go back to Koopa, or do I just Ice Beam? No, I Ice Beam at first. Yeah, I Ice Beam at first. And he goes to freaking Bliss. I'm like, are you kidding me? Who who does that? Passes a plus one or plus two and a sub to Bliss? So I'm like, it's got to be like Calm Mind Bliss or something at this point. Or maybe even just a Charge Beam Booster. And uh, I'm like, man, I don't. there's nothing I can do about that. So I'm going to bring in mine and be like, look, dude, neither one of us is getting anywhere so let's just stop these shenanigans and uh, turns out that he's just a completely normal bliss with s toss and t wave and stealth rock and soft boiled so he's just a completely normal bliss i guess he just figured he had nothing else to go to or i don't i don't know that seemed kind of silly but kind of hilarious at the same time so um I'm, i want to bring in blaziken for obvious reasons but i'm trying to get it in a turn where there's no random prediction of pair of him using T-Wave, because if that happens, I have to go right back to Bliss and Aromatherapy it off, and I don't really want to do that yet. So I go to Melodic first as a, you know, once you start switching multiple times, at that point he'll just be going S-Toss, S-Toss, S-Toss. And I want to put up a Confuse Ray, and I want to recover my hit points too, because I took a couple T-Bolts in there. So um, I figured as long as I go to one of these guys that can recover, which is three of my walls, then uh, I'm not really that worried. And if he puts a T-Wave on Melodic, that might help down the road um, because of Marvel scale. So I'm thinking maybe he'll T-Wave this thing now, and then I can go to Blaziken. But he just got confused both times, which, by the way, is zero IV Bliss. That's bold with plus one or two defense hitting itself with confusion. Hilarious. Did four points of damage. That's hilarious, which is what, like... 
zero point three one four percent or some garbage. But uh, anyway, so I have to go to Bliss because I don't want Blaziken T Wave, and uh, you know, so that that sucked. I was not expecting double confusion hacks, which actually worked out more for his favor, um, despite the fact that it's kind of irrelevant. So. Anyway, uh, he brings in Drift Blim, figuring it's just a good time to start boosting up again. And uh, he gets Unburdened, and I don't really want to stick around and let all this crap happen again. So I go right out to uh, Zapdos, as I can take T-Bolt just fine, and I can threaten him just fine. So um, he is faster than me now, but, you know, at this point, whatever, I don't care. I'm just going to sub up, as I figure if he wants to boost, I can boost as well. Let's see what you bring in. Um, I think a better thought, well doesn't matter what the perspective was because we disconnected so we decided that uh we're gonna try and replay it and uh see what happens but uh it works out a little or with same moves but it works out a little bit differently in this way um hence the sepia tone that uh his ice beam hurt me a lot more than i was uh going to accept the first time he hit me i had 120 left and because of blissey with s toss i was like no i definitely want to be at over 100 hit points I'm not exactly gonna accept that. So we just let him die or let Koopa die and uh we both ran to get a draw, rematch, and kick it back up from there. So anyway, uh, a little bit of a little bit of hacks, a little bit of ugh, garbage crap going on that definitely changes things, but you know, we're just gonna roll with it, see what happens. And uh ironically in the tournament that you guys are in the middle of watching with the series, is that instead of playing Heath of which a video coming up very soon, or maybe already up. I'm not quite sure what the order of this is going up for. Um, instead of playing him, uh, he beat Malk. Otherwise, I would have played Malk. So it's a little bit interesting in that regard. Um, I ended up playing him anyway just for fun. And uh, unfortunately, or thankfully, it didn't count since we have, you know, disconnects and crap in the middle. So anyway, sort of back to normal. Um, he gets a crit this time, which hurt me for like an extra 150, I think. Something around that regard. And uh, a little bit of extra damage, but I'm like, you know, I do soft boil up with Bliss later. It's probably not that big of a deal. And, uh, you know, we're just going to kind of keep rolling with it. So um, we're still trying to do same moves. Go back to Koopa. He subs up. I'm going to get a taunt on him here and, uh, you know, keep going from there. So t comes in. I go to Melodic, get waxed. Ah. That's pretty much how it goes. So... And then I go back to Koopa, but something different happens. Last time I went back to Koopa, and the taunt wore off. This time it doesn't, and I'm like, uh, well, there was the crit on Bliss. Because I'm scarfed, I can't just use Toxic Spikes for extra turns until it wears off. I have to pick one. So we, do, we just figured, we just both agreed and decided, you know what, let's just roll with it from here. I put up Stealth Rock, taunt wears off now, and I tried to tell him real quick, I'm like, hey, wait. If we switch it up now and I go to Bliss and you pass out to your Bliss, we can just do a bunch of stalling and we can actually get back to essentially the same point, skipping like 11 turns of stall. But at that point, he had already selected a move and so we weren't about to switch off from same moves and then try and go back to same moves. So we just started kicking it for real. So here we are again. Now it officially counts again. So, ah! Anyway, um... I'm going to go back out to Koopa again, as it worked the first time, so I'm just going to force him to Baton Pass immediately this time. And uh, I still don't know what he is going to Baton Pass to. He doesn't have Unburden Boost on, so I can still taunt him prior to that, and uh, depending on what he brings in, I could just taunt that immediately, or hit it with a Super Fang, and then try and finish it off with something else, like Scarf Tauros. So um, I figured it was extremely sound, ended up paying off great, and... Uh, here we go is what I was referring to at the very end before the disconnect. It would probably be smartest if I T-bolted to break his sub, go back to Koopa in expectance for Taunt to break, and just spam Taunt every turn, and uh, wait for that to happen, and then go back to Zapdos, T-bolt him to get him hurt. He'd probably get Unburden Boost. I don't think he would die. Um, maybe Roost once, but go back to Koopa, Taunt spam again until it doesn't work. And then go back to Zapdos, put up a sub, finish it off, you know, all that good stuff. But uh, instead I just put up sub and uh, was fiddling with his T-bolts for a while. Which I don't think it was as smart, but, uh, you know, it, it, se it seems, fi seems sound, seems fine, because he can't break um, my sub anyway. So, 
Um, I think I may have played it a little bit wrong, or not, not necessarily wrong, but I didn't play it optimally. So anyway, he gets the Citrus Unburden boost, and I make a mental error in the fact that I thought it passed the plus two Unburden boost during the fight, and I realized after the fight, I was like, wait, no it doesn't. So that, that definitely hurts me a little bit in here. Um, and he makes a mistake right there. He already had three stockpiles. He didn't realize it, so he went for another one as opposed to passing on that turn. Um, he was like, crap, I should have used sub, but I'm like, dude, I'm slower now, so I would have just broke sub anyway. Um, it would have saved him a little bit of hit points, as now he's at just a hair under 25, so when he comes back in, he's dead, as opposed to coming back in and being alive to take a hit and die. So minor difference, but anyway, in comes a dragon there, and I'm like, uh, crap. I can't hurt that. I don't have HP ice. So definitely a little bit threatening at this point because it is plus three on its defenses. And I thought it was plus two on speed at this point. Keep that in mind. I thought it was plus two. And so there I'm thinking, great. Now it's plus one, plus three, plus three, plus three. This is ridiculous. And then Shed Skin cures him of Toxic. I'm like, crap. Because it's not Dragonite, it's neutral to T-Bolt. I'm not going to be able to hurt this thing. So despite the fact that I have a sub, I figured I have to go to Tauros for Intimidate and uh, have him die, get him locked into Outrage, or at least I'm, I'm expecting Outrage. It may not be Outrage. That was the hope. And then I can go to Bliss to counter it when he's locked in. But let's remember, Bliss took a crit this time that it didn't originally, so I'm now, now thinking, oh, can I even survive? Or, no, sorry, I went to Melodic first. I did not go to Tauros for Intimidate. I went to Melodic so I could try to confuse it and then Ice Beam it. That, there we go. But I can't bring in Bliss now, or at least I don't think I can, because of that extra crit it took. So I figure, okay, I'm going to go to Tauros, get the Intimidate off, and then I'm going to sacrifice Koopasaur, hoping that he gets a three-turn Outrage instead of a two-turn Outrage. So Koopa takes it and goes down, and, uh... Um, ironically, he gets Poison Point, but then hilariously Shedskin cures it, so it's like, well, that sucks. But then he's only got a two-turn Outrage anyway, so I still can't go to Bliss. I'm like, this sucks. Because I feel like if I go in, he's just going to dance up until he's not until he's threatened enough, and Bliss isn't going to threaten it with Ice Beam because it's got plus three. And uh, he knows I do, in fact, have Counter Bliss. Whether I have it in this match or not is another story. He knows I'm prone to carrying it. So I know I can't go to it yet until it locks into Outrage. And uh, that means i got to go right back to Minotaur for an Intimidate. So keep in mind, at this point, I thought he was still faster as well. And I was like, man, I'm going to lose my Scarfer. But uh, Unburden doesn't get passed, so I'm actually faster myself. But then, of course, he just dances up instead. Um, I go for Stone Edge, trying for Crit Hacks, as Double Edge ain't going to do it, plus it's going to hurt me. And uh, Earthquake certainly ain't going to do it. Um, Pursuit, <laughs> hilarious. Yeah, like he's going to switch out. So um, I do survive in this case. But if you remember in the first initial match, he had Stealth Rock up at this point, and now he doesn't. So that would have killed me um, with Stealth Rock, and it didn't this time. I finally do get my crit, as I have a miss. I have three hits, and one of them being a crit. So it's definitely mathematically working out in that regard. Miss first, hilariously. Um, Tauros would have been dead at that point. So it's a... Uh, it's definitely a different match than what we originally signed up for, um, and we did kind of kind of start off same moves, but then change off of pace anyway, and it played out differently. So I go to Zapdos just in case he wanted an Earthquake, but I did figure Rock Polish was coming, and then I go to Minotaur now to get Intimidate on him and sacrifice it off and hope maybe he'll miss a Stone Edge, and that'd be really nice. And uh, he doesn't, but no big deal. Br Bliss is going to come in now for the counter when it's at minus one and uh i do in fact survive i've got like 163 which if i had the extra 150 hit points that'd be nice i'd be at like 300 but uh i guess that kind of actually at this point now makes up for stealth rock not being in um not exactly of course the math is a little bit awkward but um you know whatever so in comes pz and i'm like well the crit hurt bliss about 150 more approximately i may have that math incorrect but that's what I had in my brain. So I'm like, if I'm at 160, I may be able to survive. Um, I don't really want to go to Zapdos and just roost every turn while Toxic builds up and kills him. 
despite the fact that I think I might be able to, I don't really want to. So that's kind of going through my head at that point. And uh, I just tried to soft boil up and get poison hurting him. Um, actually, at that point, my no, at that point, my perspective wasn't toxic. My perspective was that it was just normal poison. And so I thought that these two turns would hurt it more. I could potentially come in with a Blaziken vacuum wave. But uh, I was like, wow, that didn't hurt very much at all. Because at this point, Lefties is canceling it up. So I'm like, well, I want him to be at around 50% before I go for a T-Bolt. I figured if he was Scarfed, he's probably going to be modest and therefore I'm faster. And because uh, he's not a max speed sub roost dose. But uh, at this point, I'm still just subbing down. And I probably should have roosted on that turn as I figured it's likely he's still going to go for sub, that I'm at full hit points again. But now with Roost uh, imminent, he's just going to start try attacking and hurt me a little bit more. So, again, another minor difference, but it would have left me, you know, who knows, maybe another 100 hit points, which would have been nice, considering I just took about a little bit over 200. You know, sitting at another 100 right now would have been nice. Um, it's at just a hair more than I want before I risk a T-Bolt. As uh, I try, I want to I wanna keep the Zapdos alive if I don't finish it off. So I go for one more roost and he gets burned. I'm like, ah. Well, I guess in the big scheme of things, I'd rather have it be burn than paralyzation or freeze. So I do end up being able to finish it off right here. But uh, Zapdos is not in good shape whatsoever right here. So he's got Kabutops. And I'm thinking, crap, I kind of need to survive this Aqua Jet or I'm already dead. Which, granted, Stealth Rock, you know, would have played a factor in, but um, turns out I flat out do survive. I live with five hit points, and I'm, like, doing a little dance and, uh, you know, getting down tonight with that. That was, that was sick. I live with five hit points. I did not expect to. So that's actually going to end up giving me the match, as I've got Blaziken, and he's got a Bliss, and he's got Drift Bloom that dies on entry. So... Um, we did calcs, I would have survived one aqua jet, and he would have survived one vacuum wave, and with his set I was actually faster. But then we're thinking, well, theoretically I could have had stealth rock go on, I would have had two life orbs from vacuum wave, then a life orb on the superpower, and, uh, you know, that's, that's a lot of recoil going on, who knows if I would have survived or not. And I tried to save the battle real quick, but I hit A just as it was going away, but, uh, I recorded it in both methods for you guys, just in case, and uh, good to see that it uh, all came out in the end. I still get a battle out of it. So, you know what? Whatever. Thanks for watching. I don't even care to talk anymore. Peace. <laughs>